And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts, with this week's Knife Brand Spotlight. Which is focused on the one and only Spyderco. Mm -hmm. It's about time to. Um, we're going to be going over some of the best popular Spyderco, some of the not worst, just least favorite, our favorites. Uh, a little bit of background on the company, but first... Guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on our videos. That way we can keep bringing you new knife and outdoor gear content. And so C has something to look forward to before he goes home and sees his mother-in-law. Mmm, I always walk in with my resilience. Spyderco was founded in 17, 1976. I almost Ooh. got patriotic on you. By Sal and Gail Sailed Glesser. Sailed the ocean blue. That's right. And was focused on selling their number one product, the Triangle Sharp Maker. At things like trade shows, fairs, you know, out of their bread truck. Mm, you got that now on shirts, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. At late night. Saw me the other day. Oh, uh, I wasn't ready yeah, for I know. Atlantic Knife. Bang. Okay. Then in 1981, they introduced the first Spider Co. folding knife, the C01 Worker, uh, which launched the concept of the round hole in the blade for one hand opening, uh, the clip on the handle for carry. They, they say that they're the first company to do the. Uh, pocket clip on the right side of the knife um, and also offering option of their models in serrated edge all of which helped revolutionize the knife industry and contributed to the form of the modern folding knife okay um, I invented post-its I didn't actually invent the post-it note it was the stuff on sticky the stuff back on the, the back of the post-it though mostly focused on creating Did state you know of the art accidentally done that was the quote okay the I know I know Creating state-of-the-art folding knives, they do have a few fixed blades, and I, that's why we're doing this, because I am excited about the Spyderco, or Spyderico, I've heard it both ways, Bow <laughs> heard it both. River <laughs> you Knife. Have not, you have not heard it both ways. Hey. House. It's Browse like, it's like, it's like, like house. house. <laughs> we just had this knife on a Knife of the Week on our show. Link's in the corner if you want to catch that. And I have to say, I really don't regret it. I mean, let me show you guys. I mean, look at this. This thing is is gorgeous, okay? I mean, it's got the what the black and gray micarta handle and then the lanyard hole. I can't remember how long it is, but... Oh, I think like, it was like eight, eight and a quarter or something like yeah. that. And it's got the 8CR 13MOV steel blade. Mm-hmm. I like this knife. Phil. I bought a lot of them. A lot. Mm-hmm. I like this knife. And I see here that, uh, it says they're only $38.99 on, on landknife.com. But they're actually only $37.80. Really? Yes. If they say $38.99, it will be changed. I think I can signal with this. Mm -hmm. I bet you can. Sharp as can be, too. Okay, right. however, I don't think it quite compares uh, to Spartaco's most popular knife and best folding knives, such as the paramilitary, paramilitary well, came with two. too, right? No, it came with a leather. What? A black leather. A sheath. leather belt. A, a leather sheath. A black leather no belt sheath. No way. Sheath. Yeah, hold on. Is this our lucky day second. or what? Thirty-seven eighty, and you get a fixed blade you Spider Co. with a leather black leather sheath. Belt it, sheath. it don't have Spider Co. logo. Yes, on, it's still. It's <laughs> at the Spider Co. We're going crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I like I remember, this knife. He, Look. he was watching the videos one day and he was like, I, I, gotta, I gotta add a filter. I can't keep doing that. As soon that. as I saw it, I was like, well, I'll take 20. Oh, no, I'll take 50. I'll take 25. I'll take 25. Plus 50. Okay. Um, they also have the Paramilitary 2 in 1 and the Manix 2, which I think we did on a past video where we did the top five Spyderco knives. I think we this gave one, one away. A Manix? I think we did. Yeah, because it has the cool compression. That's when lock. I started the. Woo, yeah. Yeah. And somebody on YouTube so neatly called a great selling point, in which in it made them want one immediately. Do you always have to quack your own duck all the time? <laughs> oh, you just stole quack my duck. <laughs> go, that is inappropriate. Got, got a few more. You know what? I'm going to get it warmed up for my mother-in-law. Don't you dare take quack Delica. my duck. The Delica wow. one, too. That's one you would, Chuck. Quit ones. chucking my wood. And they got the FRN handles as well. So Okay. Right. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Got your tenacious covered. Oh, I want to do. Oh, the tenacious! I forgot. I can't believe I forgot that we have like six of those on here, don't we? Yeah, there's there's some new ones. This came out this week. 
which we're going to have on AlanteKnife.com. I think they're already there if you're asking. Whoop, whoop. So what do you guys think is the best knife Spyderco has made? All time, I guess. All look, time favorite, look. yeah. We already know. Well, we don't already yes, know. Yes, you're going to put paramilitary too. But let's let's just scratch that. Of all time? All time. But there's so many. I, I was looking at this, this website today that had them all categorized. There were so many, like special edition ones like there was one that had a cut out of the blade where it had the spider co logo on it and it was like cut out in like a web i was like that one is awesome Very i'd love to have it I, I like the manix i like the resilience i think my actual favorite of all time mm -hmm. is this right here now it's not usa made which you know a lot of people don't like mm -hmm. but i think this one's my favorite one right here well they've also had a, a lot of collaborations with other knife makers over the years so the most easily recognized one of the things are uh, Jens Ainso, Ken Onion, Ernest Emerson, and Tim Wegner. Wegner. Yeah. So that would be the Pingo Zulu Rock Lobster for Jens Ainso. Mm -hmm. Ken Onion would be the Spider Co. Spiker and with Sal Glasser. Yeah, he did it with him. Glasser, that's right. And a few of the models, such as the Delica 4, Endura 4, dealt with the Emerson Blade Wade opening feature. No, we don't have any of those here because I don't think they're. Ones. Don't quote me. They might be I think they're all discontinued. I have a. Um, yeah. I have an Endura 4 wave over at my desk. but Of course you do. Yes. Yeah. And, of course, with Tim Wagner, it was the Spyderco Ocelot Mouse and, and C48. the C48 Wagner and the C49 Wagner Jr., yes. That's it, little Wagner. <laughs> Throw back to the old models. Yes, yeah, Spyderco also has experimented with, experimented with new blade steels in that time as well. They were the first company to use H1 steel. On the, rock, on the uh, assault? Yeah, in knife. a folding knife. Blade too. And they've also made blades out of 154CM, 8CR13. BG10, N690, <laughs> CPM, Cobalt. S60V, 90V, D2, just a lot more. Yeah, what about the Maximet? It's on here too. Go one on. of these has it, this one. Is it that Bam. one? Yes, look at there. Wow, what a, wait, wait, wait which, which one is that? I want to show them that one. That's the Native 5. Yeah, Native 5. Yeah, with the gray uh, FRN All handle. All right, their handle materials are less extensive. Uh-huh. They mostly use G10 and fiberglass reinforced nylon, though they've made a few limited edition models. Spirit Sprint runs, almost called them Spirit. Oh, they also <sighs> got some carbon fiber for the Tenacious, which, and they use which is one of my favorite. Titanium. Hmm. Coral. My favorite spider coat, let me think. My favorite would either have to be the Adventura, which was a long time ago. I think it was like 2007, I think is when it stopped making it, by uh, Alex Drew. And I like the McBee. It's really cute. The cut is as unique, the, the blade style. Or the Shep, Shep, Sheparel. Sheparel. The Chaparral lock back in blue with the titanium handle and it has like swirls on I love that handle. That's probably my, I think that would have to be my favorite. Is that the Zome greenish handle? No, it oh, okay. it has like spirals on it and it's titanium and the blue oh, one okay. has like, it's like $200 I think it is. Oh, that's, you know, they have had a few of those. There was one that had like a little rainbow type design on it. I can't remember what it was, like a little dragonfly maybe? I remember they had one that had a bug on it. Yeah. Like their logo and it was... Some of them were like purple and green, and I think that was one of the, I think, not Wagner, I think Onion might have done that. I can't remember. I can't remember. There, there was a lot of different designers they'd done. Well, my favorite is this one. Police the Model 4. and the police, the police models. Any of the nice. biggest ones. Exactly. And this one's, this one's catching on to me, too. I also like some of their other things. Like they have a, They have pins. You can go on my hat. They used to have a military hat. So you don't have any spider coat pins. We'll have to get you some of those. I know. Unfortunately, the military hat was discontinued. I mean, I, I scoured the internet. I know some people. I, I know of some people. I scoured. I'm we'll not even kidding. I went like Weapons Universe. And All right. So we got... No, no. I'm still going. Least favorite spider coat. Oh. I don't have a least favorite spider coat. I mean, mine what do you think? If you had to pick one... Mine ones, like a honeybee. Yeah, they have purpose, but not dragonfly? really. Dragonfly? Come on. Oh, I'm okay with dragonfly. Honeybee. Are you? You know, and that other one that's like 15 the bucks. Bugs. The bug. I don't want those things. There was a man bug. They, they've had them all over so the So that's years. like that's your least favorite? You don't need a little teeny knife. I want a usable knife. This is usable. No, I'm okay with the dragon. It's a nice fly. little box cutter. They got that like in several different Dash versions. Animals. They got the UK version with a slip joint. The dragon I mean, fly. There's lots of different ones. There is. Hmm. I like the, uh, my favorite part about them is the angle. Normally has jimping, not always, mm -hmm. but all of them have some type of angle. I want to jam them together. 
where you can actually, this is my favorite part, you can use these suckers. Okay. Yeah, you can cut. Mm-hmm. I like I think, that part. I think in a video you cut a, a grapefruit with a spider cut. Yeah, we're getting so old now that we've I, been done so much I stuff know. that I can't remember what we've done. Okay. Where are we at? Let's okay, do it again. You guys. All right. We want to hear from you guys. Best, least favorite, ones we left out, holler at us, comment uh, section. Oh, you stole it. Do it. Uh, finally, Spider Co. also designs and produces knives under the Bird brand, which, as you guys know, very similar to Spider Co.'s knives, except they have the, the comment or the tear or... The beak, as it's been brought to my attention, is probably the beak of yeah, a bird. Yeah, it's their base model the line. It's not, shape of their hole is different. That's basically... Let's say it's foreign made. Yeah. It's so your they're entry a little, level. They're a little... Uh, for those who don't want to drop a hundred. Less expensive. Less expensive. And some bucks. Yep. Exactly. All right. So, the first bird models, Kara Kara, Meadowlark, Pelican, Flight, Crossbill, initially featured stainless steel mm -hmm. handles. However, newer bird knives now sport aluminum, FRN, and G10. I think I have a favorite bird. No, that's the first. I mean, it's not definite. It could be the Meadow Lark, though I like the Raven 2 and the Finch 2, especially the Finch because of the uh, shape of the blade. It's got a larger tier. Mm, this has been hole. an interesting history lesson of Spider Co. I know. I like that. We're really all about Spider Co. All right. Thanks for asking. But I actually have a favorite. Really? Yep. You know what? No, you don't have a favorite. Don't you don't. Br no, don't you bring back that joke. That joke is dead. The pennies are over the eyes. You know, like that pennies over the earth. Yes. Is that a core line thing? No, that's It's buttons. the Robin, too. <sighs> I'm sorry. He knows not what he does. <laughs> Forgive her, son, for she knows not what she's done. <laughs> if you're going to quote Jesus, no better person to quote now, is there? No, I mean, I would say God is good. With that, I'm C. <laughs> Is that where you're going with that? No, that's a bar drinking song. God is I great. Was, that's my new answer of everything. Uh, well, well, you know, God's good. That's all. crazy. You both say. Oh, God. Every day. Oh, great, great, great If you can figure God. out what movie that's from, that'd be great, too. Okay, Jewel. Yep, just Jewel, and we are signing off. It's Book of Eli.